Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Laura from Yoga by Laura Nicole. And we will be doing another short routine today, uh, melting our shoulders, giving those a lot of relief. So let's go ahead and start on our backs in Recline Baddha Konasana. That means your feet are gonna be together, your knees are gonna be apart. And with your arms, go ahead and make goalpost arms with your arms just kind of gently resting on the ground. Now, it's gonna be hard to, harder to see when I'm laying down, so I'm gonna show you standing up. So as you breathe in, your arms will go up like it's your first stretch of the day. And as you breathe out, your arms will come back down. It'll look something like this. Breathing in, let me scoot down a little. Breathing in, coming all the way up and breathing out. Coming down. Now you don't have to follow my breath. You can follow your own and see if you can relax your shoulders so much and your arms so much that they trace the ground the entire time. Now you may not be able to touch the entire time. You can see there's a little space with my arms, but the idea is eventually your chest your shoulders will relax enough to where you're making little half snow angels right on the ground. Now if you need a little bit more, if your chest and your shoulders are already fairly open, you can grab a block and place it right below your shoulder blades. So the two little points at the top here will go right below your shoulder blades. Now, if you don't have a block, you can use a small pillow. So this is just a gentle uh, chest opener, a gentle back bend, if you will. So let's lay down on that. And you'll see how it opens my chest up a little bit more. And you may find stillness is what your body's asking for. But if you wanna keep extending your arms up, as you breathe in and melt back down as you breathe out, totally groovy. You're gonna know what your body wants. stretch. Now on your next exhale, go ahead and remove your block. Let your back down slowly. Sometimes this can be pretty intense. And bring your knees to your chest. Maybe make some circles. Put one hand on each knee. Make some circles around one way and around the opposite direction. Let's rock up and over and go into child's pose for a moment. Breathe here. If you find that it's more comfortable to do a wide-legged child's pose, I definitely invite you to do that. Just give your lower back a moment to sink towards your mat. On your next inhale, let's come back up to all fours into tabletop, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, and please be sure to place some uh, pressure into your fingertips so that all your weight isn't dumping down into your wrists. And please put some weight onto the tops of your feet so you're not just dumping all your weight into your knees. Let's do some cat and cows, or stretchy cat as some of you like to call it. As you breathe in, arch your back, look up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, look towards your belly button. Breathe in, dip down, and breathe out. 
Now you may find that wagging your tail a little bit while you do this, or coming forward and backwards feels really nice. I definitely encourage you to find whatever shapes your body needs to make in this moment. So we're just waking up. So get a little organic with it. Wake yourself up. And on your next inhale, let's bring our right arm up and our left leg up. Extend as much as you can, finger to foot, making the furthest line apart from each other. And breathe in, I mean breathe out, sorry, and compress. Breathe in, put those weight on those fingertips on the ground, and breathe out. We're gonna do five in total. Breathe in, bring that foot as high up and that hand as high up as you can. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wiggle around, maybe have your hands face in different directions. Give your wrists some love and we'll start on the other side. So get, go ahead and lift your right leg up and your left hand up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Put some weight onto that top of that back foot. Breathe in. And breathe out. Come back into tabletop. Move those wrists around. Give them some love. They just worked really hard. Nice. So let's get up on our knees like this. We're gonna make a fist behind our backs. So bring your shoulders up towards your ears, straight back and melt them down just to make some nice posture. Now the tendency is gonna, want, gonna be for your butt to stick out. Try to keep your head over your heart, your heart over your pelvis to make a straight line. Okay? And as you press your fists towards the ground, gently lift your chin towards the ceiling. So you don't have to press super hard to start feeling a stretch kind of around your collarbones and in your neck. As you breathe out, have your chin trace a nice semicircle over towards your left shoulder. Breathe in, come towards the top, and breathe out your opposite shoulder. Now find your own breath and your own pace to keep doing this. Be sure to put some weight on the tops of those feet so you're not putting all the pressure on your knees. Once you make one last round, go ahead and undo your hands, shake them out a little if you want to. Whew, feels good. So we're going to do next some half camel poses. So grab a block, or it can be a big pillow or anything like that. And with your right hand, place it near your foot. Switch hands and breathe out. Bring your arm up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your arm up. Breathe out. Bring your arm up. So you're going to feel this. Keep going. You're going to feel this in your psoas muscle right here. And you're also going to feel some core work when you do this. Feels difficult but amazing. Now, if you find that you are more flexible than you expected, you can drop the block and grab your knee. <laughs> your knee. This is your heel, not your knee. 
Notice my shoulders are generally pointing straight up. So I'm not twisting. I'm trying to keep my chest shining straight up, almost like I have a little string right here. Now, attempt, if you can, if you have two blocks, you can use them, or if you're feeling quite flexible today, grab one heel in each hand. So you're pushing your, your uh, pelvis forward, so you're not just dumping back. Pushing your pelvis forward, you're bringing your shoulders back, and you're bringing your chest up. Drop your neck. and come up. Let's go ahead and fall back into child's pose. Wide-legged child's pose is just fine. So if you want to put your knees as wide as your mat, that works just great. In child's pose, you really just want to melt all the way through your mat. Observe your heartbeat. Appreciate it for all it does for you. On your next inhale, let's go ahead and tuck our toes and come into downward dog. You may want to walk your dog out a little. Melt your heels towards the ground. And on your next inhale, bring your right leg between your hands and your left knee down. So you may want to use a block for this. Totally up to you. You may want to use two blocks, actually. Okay? And we're going to do a little flow that's going to help our psoas muscle a little bit. So as you breathe out, bring that heel up and your, head, your body towards your knee. Breathe in. Tuck the tailbone. Breathe out. Breathe in. Bring the chest towards the sky. The shoulders melt down. Breathe out. Breathe in. You may want to bring your arms up if you're feeling like your balance is good today. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more round. Breathe out. Breathe in. On your next breath out, we're gonna go into high plank. Lower down. Upward dog. Downward dog. Walk it out a little if you'd like. And we're going to bring the left foot between the hands, the right knee down, and do that same flow. Please breathe here. It makes it so much easier, trust me. So, breathe in. Breathe out. Don't be surprised if one side is not as tight as the other. Or, one side is tighter. You can put your arms and hands however you want them in the low lunge. Sometimes I like goddess arms, which is this. Breathe out. Find your own pace. Put your arms like that if you like. One more round. Let's go ahead and tuck that back toe. High plank. Breathe out as you come down to your belly. Breathe in for upward dog. Breathe out. Downward dog. Step it out if you'd like. And on your next breath in, you're going to step or hop to the top of your mat. 
Put your feet hip width apart, and let's just hold our elbows and hang here like a doll for a moment. You can sway back and forth. Okay. On your next breath in, let's bring our arms up. Breathe out. Hands to heart center. On your next breath in, let's take a step wide. Grab our elbows and let's fold forward this way. Oh, well, hello there. I'm gonna fold forward this way. If you find some movement feels good, totally works for me. Let's go ahead and heel toe our feet in a little bit. We're gonna squat down into malasana or garland pose. So if this is really hard for you, go ahead and put a block underneath your rear end like this, because it's more important to have your spine straight than it is for you to get low. So if you are wondering what your posture should be like, Shoulders up towards your ears, straight back, and then glide your shoulder blades down. You can use your elbows to push your knees out if you'd like. But your feet, notice my feet are flat on the ground. The cat's demonstrating, she's like, this is a foot. Yeah, yeah. Hi, baby. <sighs> you got this. Couple more seconds. And let's release. We're gonna go into Shavasana. Let's lay on our backs, flat on our backs, feet apart, hands apart. Melt their shoulders down your back. And breathe out. Just observe your breath as you breathe in. Is it a short breath or a long breath? Without judgment, just note on the quality. And as you breathe out, does it feel like a peaceful breath or a tense breath? The breath is a vehicle to the body and your mind. So the more you can actually know the quality of it, the more you can travel to really understanding what your body needs and where it's going. Let's stay here in some peace for a couple more moments. When you're ready, roll onto your right side. And on your next inhale, go ahead and push yourself up into see our seated posture. It's called Sukhasana or easy pose. Sometimes it doesn't feel so easy though. Well, thank you for joining me today. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.